is jets use a lot of fuel and if you launch jets from turkey and and these other places Italy. You've, you've really got to refuel them oh. there there are other complications but let's say one to two hours was the window we held off for seven hours now if knowing what you know as a cia former you know, guy that ran operations on the ground how many people do you think because we know there were predator drones above it how many people knew it was a lie about benghazi yes sir day one well, it, it, it depends part of the problem we have is that the cia lies to the pentagon and the pentagon lies to cia and everybody lies to the department of state and the white house uh so we have a government in which we literally lie among ourselves it's it's internal warfare um, and one of the problems with, with Libya, of course, was also the French activism, because the French wanted to take out Gaddafi. They wanted to, to put themselves into power there. Gaddafi was actually a stabilizing factor in the region. And his biggest crime was that he had a lot of gold and he wasn't going to follow the American Goldman Sachs, George Soto's party line. Um, so we literally created a swath of destruction from Afghanistan through Libya, Iraq, Syria, all the way down to Yemen, Somalia, and Niger. Uh, what we have done in the last 15 to 20 years is go from 25 failed states to 175 failed states. The U.S. government, in our name and at our expense, has destroyed the world, and it has destroyed the American domestic economy, and nobody is holding anyone. That was my next point, and, and I mean, clearly, you were high-level CIA on the ground. You know about divide and conquer strategies force multiplication, you can just see the State Department sociology with political correctness dividing everyone. I mean, it's like Ku Klux Klan propaganda, but through the minorities, it's so evil. It even shocks me that they are race baiting and creating division like this, federalizing police, weaponizing them, then the cops do bad stuff, then the answer is bring in more tyranny. What's your view on all that? What's really happening in the economy, where we're going? Well, it's funny because I just watched Cynthia McKinney speaking on a Russian TV channel, and she was talking about change management and chaos management. And you're exactly right, Alex. Basically, we're destabilizing the world. We're creating massive amounts of fear, um, and we're spending all of our money on surveillance and control. And I have a, a slide from Medard Gabel on how much we spend on war and how if we spent a third of that on peace, we could give every single uh, person on the planet a, a two-story cinder block home with running water, electricity, and even a swimming pool. Um, the injustice that is being perpetuated right now, we now know that 62 people on the planet have as much wealth as the lower three billion. Um, this is insane. Concentration of wealth, and I have my, you've showed it on your show before, my preconditions of revolution chart. The preconditions of revolution all exist in the United States of America today. We are like a house that has been soaked in gasoline with ammunition put in every room, and we're just waiting for the first match to blow by. And George Soros is running around with sparklers in the street. And, <laughs> and expanding on this, sir, then I come out and say, we don't need class warfare, we don't need class envy, but it's the very Davos elites that have transferred the wealth through inside jobs, through crony capitalism, that are lobbying to now take what's left the middle class money and redistribute it, which will end the ladder up for poor people and terminate it using social uh, injustice causes to actually sabotage people coming together. How do you communicate that to the masses of people that are at the breaking point? How do we keep the establishment from organizing a false revolution that only cements their control? Alex, I am a huge fan of Ted Cruz and state rights. I think that it's time for the states to look after their own. It's time for us to start nullifying federal uh, regulations. It's time for us to say that the federal government has no right to own land. There's an absolutely marvelous graphic on, on how much land the federal government owns. They basically own everything west of the Mississippi, and that's a crime. So what do we do? I mean, we get a coalition of governors and legislatures in an emergency, just like 1775, 1776. We get together. We announce the crimes. We, had, we point out the feds have been hijacked. We deploy a plan to the states. They vote. We, we pull out the federal government. 
d dissolve it, and then how do we reconstitute it? Because well, you've got you all know, these operatives in there. There'll be a huge battle over the next level of control that causes a revolution in and of itself. Look, one of one of the beautiful things about being a state is that you have the National Guard, which works for the governor, not for the president. And you already have the infrastructure. Yes, you can take over your land. I personally don't believe we should have absentee landlords. I think every state should control its own land, its own property. By the way, I agree with what you're saying. I'm just putting in the pitfalls of how we need to organize this. And it needs to happen through the states. I'm huge on truth and reconciliation. And let me point out to you and your listeners that there are some billionaires that get it. Lady Lynn Rothschild, who's a babe from New Jersey, by the way, she just married well. Uh, Lady Lynn Rothschild sponsored a conference on inclusive capitalism in uh, May of uh, 2014. And we've got some black sheep billionaires out in Silicon Valley who are talking about redemptive capitalism. I know that. I've, 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 I've talked to some of them, yes. Yeah, okay. Stay so there. Let's talk about that when we come back. There are a lot of new money people, is what you're yes. getting at, and who don't want to suicide everybody and have this apocalyptic craziness. But the elite are digging in. They're planning it. Uh, Mr. Steele, sorry? We can fix this, Alex. You be in the governor of Texas. RobertDavidSteele.com. Well, the governor listens a lot, so you can tell him what you think straight ahead. We'll be back. It's definitely a very exciting time to be alive. We're going back to our guest, Robert David Steele, here in a moment. I want to take a few calls for him. I'm going to be good and go to him. I'm bad about getting a guest on not going to the calls. For your questions, your comments, 800-259-9231 for first-time callers. 800-259-9231. Briefly, so I want to get right back to our guest. We're listeners supported. Viewers supported. We don't get big, you know, globalist advertisers. Um... We don't get banker bailout money like MSNBC or NPR. We are supported by the products we sell. So, A, we, we try to sell really good products at very competitive prices. We try to have a wide selection. When you shop with the good guys, you're funding an organization that's promoting true Americana. And you know what? We built it. People have come. We reach 28 million people a week now worldwide. About half of our audience is outside the U.S. I love that. But it's the audience inside the United States that mainly finances what we do. And if you've not become a nightly news subscriber for $5.95 a month at prisonplanet.tv or infowarsnews.com, you really should check out the benefits and do that. Um, we're always telling you, you should look online for water testing in your county or your city and find out what's being added, what's being done. Because the federal laws, the state laws, it's there. And, man, they take perfect aquifer water in many areas of the country and just put hundreds of horrible things in it. What you see happening up in Flint, they should all be filtering their water. There should be a nationwide move you know, to have the government you know, airlift that in. But you see, there's so many scams to water, I'm not going to go off into it. I went into it in the last hour. You need to be filtering your shower water. You need to be filtering your tap water. Uh, reverse osmosis is great. Then you got to take mineral supplements because it takes out all the minerals. Um, if you take some of the other type of water like distilled, it'll kill you, you know, in, a, in a six months or so. I mean, I know people that are drinking that for just two weeks and, you know, gotten really sick because there's nothing in that. Um, so, again, it's very important that you use the Alexa Pure Pro or you use the Pro Pure type systems that we sell that have been tested that are high quality at InfoWarsStore.com. And that way you're getting high quality filters with the test on the site, the best we can find. Very inexpensive for what you get. And then we've got the new ProPure Pro Max four-stage filter that has fast flow and reduces or cuts out 200 contaminants plus from your shower water where you inhale them, where you go through your skin. It's the other part of the equation for your family. I mean, and folks, if you want to be healthy, eat clean non-GMO food, all the rest, but water is, is just as important as clean air. I mean, if you don't have it, I mean, I, it, it, it's such an important factor. So get a high quality pro pure system at InfoWarsStore.com. You can see the five star reviews and the other products. This is so new, there's no reviews there. So as soon as folks get these in, review them. I've been using mine uh, in the test we did here at the office for months. I just put mine in last week uh, at my house. I was like, I've had these for a week, I haven't put them in yet. So it, it's important to take action. InfoWarsStore.com. And then finally, InfoWarsLife.com, we have a new special running today. And just for the next week, get Survival Shield, Nason Iodine, the Good Halogen, 
and get Super Mel Vitality together for 15% off this week only. Such amazing products. Find out why those are so important as well at InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com. All right. Uh, our guest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, joins us, RobertDavidSteele.com. He has some other great websites as well. Uh, there is uh, a new book out that he contributed to, Another French False Flag, uh, Bloody Tracks from Paris to San Bernardino. I want to get into that some too, but you were you were getting into the fact that not everybody's a suicidal uh, nihilist or eugenicist in the global combine. But I want to ask you, what is the main driving force in the main combines that get together at Bilderberg and Davos and kind of iron out their differences like a mafia summit every year? And then what are some of these factions you're saying that don't want to bring us into the new dark age? Well, Alex, basically, I think, you know, Animal Farm was a great book. I think the the ultra elite, which which certainly leans toward neo-Nazi and even satanic influences, they think of us as expendable farm animals. We're nothing to them. Um, and they basically see profit from war as good. And they even like disease because the CDC is a massive scam. Most of these vaccines and most of these pharmaceuticals that we're pushing off and most of the stuff that we sell on supermarket shelves is just plain poison but it's profitable poison. So we're treated as a money machine. Now, the good news is that a few of the billionaires, uh, Lady Lynn Rothschild, uh, the Black Sheep billionaires, the Mars family in Virginia, a couple of others, maybe Michael Bloomberg in New York City, uh, they're starting to understand that the blue collar master class, the white collar cubicle class, and the academic gold collar class are the golden goose. That's the heart of productivity. And they're starting to realize that they're getting very close to having people burning down their mansions. And we have a lot of angry veterans that know how to put a 50 caliber bullet into a Learjet that's taking off and landing. Um, so we're very, very close to an extraordinarily unstable situation. So I personally, I sent a certified letter to the governor of Texas, I hope he actually gets it, uh, urging him to convene a, uh, an electoral reform summit and to call for a virtual constitutional convention. One of the guys I admire besides yourself is Mike Levin and his radio show and his books on liberty and the constitutional convention and so forth. I think Texas should sponsor a virtual constitutional convention no later than March. We need to get all these issues out. And we need to understand just how vulnerable the United States is to complete meltdown. Please continue. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I've, I've actually produced a, a list of seven things. And, and uh, I personally, I'm a little concerned about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And if it comes down to Trump or Clinton, I think Michael Bloomberg is going to have to run for president. Um, and well, I get outlined... that Bloomberg... It takes the Henry Ford position that you've got to have employees paid enough to buy your cars. And so he isn't pushing Agenda 21, but he's so anti-gun. Yes, he's going to have to he's going to have to compromise on that. You know, and politics is about compromise. Um, I think one of the problems with 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 people that are against guns is that they're living in an ivory tower. Why do so many smart people like you that I agree with, like 95 percent of and people like uh, Harry Dent like Bloomberg? Because, I mean, I just can't stand him. I mean, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, that's that's okay, Alex, because I would insist that you be his vice president. So you could be, <laughs> yeah, right. you could be a balancing factor here. Um, look, I'm agnostic on who's president. I really don't care. I just want my country back. I want my constitution restored, and I want integrity back in the electoral system. We don't have that right now. We have a two-party tyranny that is screwing 60% of the public. Um, and... I really believe that we need to find some combination, a bipartisan ticket, a Republican and a Democrat, a coalition cabinet. You sure. know about fantasy football. I actually want to have a fantasy cabinet. No, I understand. Okay. I mean, look, a con con's the way to go. And I, never, I was never yes. for one, but the Constitution's already so gone. Why not an emergency point when the states are already on our side to actually go in there and get the federal government back in line? That's the type of platform bully pulpit that would allow all this. But getting past the fantasy football, obviously, I mean, Hillary's terrible. What is your issues with Donald Trump? I'd love to hear those. 
Well, I, I, I actually published an article in Counterpunch, Countercoup, How Donald Trump Can Win. And I outlined these seven ideas, and I was completely blown off by Donald Trump and his staff. The big problem with Trump, in my view, is that he 